Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. It's been about three months that we've lived in the yurt now, and I thought I would give a video on some of my favorite things about the yurt. So this is a top five video on my favorite things about living in a yurt so far. Come on. time to be creative and less screen time so that means more painting this is my painting this is day's painting we've been doing a lot of painting lately we've been doing a ton of reading every night before bed we will read I go to the library several times a week and get tons of books I love the library so number five is being more creative with our painting, with our guitar playing, and with our book reading. Number four is the fireplace. The wood-burning fireplace. It is my fourth favorite thing about the yurt. It's also one of my least favorite things about the yurt, but we're talking about favorite things today. So the, my fourth favorite thing about the yurt is the fireplace. It is so multifunctional here in the yurt. Of course, it is our heater, but you can also see I am boiling some water right now so I can do the dishes. We are hanging our, some of our socks and laundry up to dry when we go outside and play in the snow or in the muck we come back in with wet clothes and it is so nice to have somewhere to hang them and they're dried very quick so the fireplace is also a form of entertainment as you can see our beautiful front view window we can sit in front of the fireplace and just enjoy it at night, sit by the fire and read in the morning. It really is just a lovely area. The reason I said that it was also one of the things I didn't like about the yurt is because it is a messy way to heat your house. It's not very clean. Uh, you can see that there are tons of wood chips all over the place all the time. There's soot and ashes around. Um, we sweep probably every other day, every day, but just bringing in wood constantly is constantly tracking wood pieces into the house. And we do call it our boss because he kind of runs our life in the winter time when it's cold. We have to make sure we're back in time to fill it so it's a love-hate relationship i do love it i wouldn't say i hate it but there are things i i could do without number three would be the dome and the light that comes in through the dome it really is wonderful to be able to lay in bed and look up through the dome in the morning Sometimes I catch birds flying by. You can see the clouds and the tops of the trees. I love it. I'm glad we got it. I also love that we got the dome opener. It's been crucial in the winter time with the uh, wood stove, sometimes letting smoke in. It's nice to be able to quick open the dome and let the smoke out. And I'm sure in the summertime it's going to be wonderful for releasing the hot air and like I said it also brings in a ton of light especially with these white walls that come with the Pacific yurt reflecting the light around so that's definitely my number three 
My number two favorite thing about the yurt is this huge open area that we have now. We kind of have like a studio apartment that's 750 square feet all around with no corners and a huge ceiling. This is 15 foot high in the middle, seven feet around the ends. It is a wonderful feeling in here. We never feel cramped on top of each other or closed in at all in, in a smaller home, in a room. Our bedroom is just part of this huge room as well as the kitchen. So we're always connected to each other and we're always in this great large living space. We've played many of games on the floors. The kids have run around and made their own games. And I don't want to add walls anytime soon at least. I really just love the feeling of the yurt. I feel like if we added walls, it would take away from this wonderful round structure. So that's my number two. On to number one. So number one has to be the connection to the great outdoors. We have a forest right behind our house pretty much surrounding our house, our yurt. Um, and we can hear everything that goes on outside, inside. So strong winds we're hearing. Rain might be the top of my favorite things as far as noises that we can hear. The rain is so soothing. It really gives the whole yurt a new environment. Everybody kind of has more privacy. You can't hear each other. So that might be my favorite thing about the year as well, a part of the nature connection. But we have a strong connection with the sun cycle, with the moon cycles, and the coyotes, the owls, the wildlife, the squirrels, the deer. I feel way more connected to nature than I've ever felt in my life and it's all because of this wonderful home with these very thin walls that keep the heat in and keep me, I feel very protected but I also feel very involved with the outside. So I hope you enjoyed my top five reasons why I enjoy living in the yurt after almost three months. I'm sure my ideas will change over time so I'll do an update video on my new top five. Uh, feel free to subscribe and like any of our videos, leave some comments and questions and thanks for watching. Peace!